I didn't do a lot of research about the problem with my hip. I was relying on medical professionals to give me the best answer. The, the answer and the solution was not the best thing for me. My name is John Lafretta. I am from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I am passionate about bicycles and riding them and fixing them. I'm a, a bicycle mechanic. I came here on the parachute program to help to fix some issues with my hip. Uh, the problem started about almost 20 years ago. I was playing ice hockey and I'm a goalie and I was on the ground in the butterfly position and I kicked my right leg out and I felt a pop right about there. I thought, oh, it's no big deal. I'll, I'll just keep on going and everything will be fine. It was painful for a very long time and slowly got better, but it was never really the same. But I, no one gave me any sort of diagnosis about what was wrong. The doctors said they were fine. I had an MRI done. About five years ago, other symptoms started to come up. My left knee started hurting. My left SI started hurting. I wanted to figure out what was going on. And a lot of the professionals I saw kind of traced it back to this right hip. Eventually I got another MRI done. It showed that I had torn labrum in my right hip. And that was really the only result that came from any, all, any of the treatments that I had was that this was the problem and this was what needed to be done to fix it. And that was to get surgery. It was the only option that I was presented with. January of 2015, I had surgery to repair my labrum. For six months following that, I did intense rehabilitation of three times a week physio, weekly, acupuncture, weekly massage, was not working. Basically just dedicating those months to my recovery. I was no better than I was going in. In fact, I think that I was worse off. For the next six months after that recovery period, I was still in quite a bit of pain and was wondering what was going on. So I started looking into other options about what I can do to resolve this. I found Upright Health videos and I thought this makes a lot more sense than what the doctors and specialists and surgeons had been telling me. I first purchased the FII program and started doing that, but I felt like it wasn't focused enough for what was going on with me. And I wanted to make sure that if I was putting in the work, if it was gonna be a long-term project, I wanted to make sure I was going in the right direction. And I didn't quite feel that it was progressing the way I wanted it to. So after much deliberation, I decided that the best thing to do would be to come make a trip to Redwood City and see the staff here at Upward Health. I was working with Vincent. I really enjoyed working with him. He's very patient. He's a great listener. He gave me a lot of great exercises and tools that I can take home with me. And that's what I'm really looking forward to is I really enjoyed his instruction and I just want to like get going on what the work that he's given me. And already in the short time that I've been here, I've felt progress on some of the issues that I've been having. And even from the beginning of the week, I was having some issues. I've, have, I've had long standing issues with my left shoulder over two years and it's already starting to feel a little bit better. For example, today we were working on my shoulders. Half an hour that we were doing exercises, he had noticed like an an equalization in the activation of the muscles on the left and the right side on the back of my shoulders. As a mechanical person, as a bike mechanic, I really like to know exactly what's going on mechanically. So Vincent was very patient with like showing me exactly why we needed to strengthen this muscle or uh, stretch this muscle. And that was the best way for me to learn and to have like some power over what I can do and bring back home and motivation to continue doing it. I think the biggest thing is I remember when I was really desperate, when I was in a lot of pain and I went to the doctor and they said, this is what the problem is. This is what we're gonna do to fix you. And I was so desperate that I wanted to believe anything that they said. I didn't do a lot of research about the problem with my hip. I was relying on medical professionals to give me the best answer for me. The result was that the answer and the solution was not the best thing for me. The thing that I would suggest to everyone is instead of jumping to a conclusion which Western medicine may provide you easily, is to explore as many options as you can because there are alternatives. Pain sucks. Life shouldn't.